Um, my name is Teresa Holiday. I'm with the Wyatt Holiday Foundation, and I'm here to interview Bernie Dallin? Deline. Deline. There we go. And we wanted to find out from him why he is picketing one of the schools in the Puyallup, Washington School District. Um, Bernie, can you give us a little bit of a background on what's been happening? Well, it's just a uh, mistreatment of uh, special education students here, and not only here at this school, Puyallup High School, but all over the district. It seems to be a common practice that uh, having these kids do janitorial type services is acceptable and tolerated, and I think it's wrong. Uh, it's demeaning. Uh, special education kids will never look at these kids as being equal by any means if they're always coming in to pick up after the uh, general education students. And not all, that's including washing windows, cleaning the cafeteria tables off after uh, general education students eat their lunch. And so uh, it seems to be a common practice that the special needs kids are there to clean up after everyone. Well, one thing I've heard is that um, while this is considered part of their vocational training and part of their curriculum, um, general ed students who are being disciplined get to walk next to them. And so what, what kind of message does that send to the special needs student as well as their family? Well, you know, if they're understanding, which I, I'm not sure all of them are what they're doing, uh, if they do, then that kind of sends a, a mixed signal there. Well, it's one child's uh, general education student's discipline, but then the special education student's a daily activity, and it's expected of them. So I'm sure the ones that do understand, they're probably thinking, why am I getting punished for, for having to do this too? So I don't know. It's, it sends mixed signals. Can you give us an idea of some of the items that they've been picking up? I mean, not just classroom garbage and recycling, but can you can you give us an idea of what else is involved? It's been reported that these kids are walking around picking up cigarette butts, condoms, uh, just any any debris that could be on the grounds, uh, uh, scraping gum from underneath cafeteria tables. Uh, it's, it's it could be a, yeah washing windows. I mean, and and they're doing this without any sort of protection on their hands to protect them from communicable diseases or or just bacteria or anything. That's obviously a hazmat issue. Um, so how do we best get this message to the parents? Uh, like we're doing here now. We're, we're picketing in front of the schools. I'm trying to hit every, every school that uh, participates in this type of activity, uh, getting out to the media and parents and, and ad advocacy groups as yours, as such as yours. I think it's wonderful that everybody communicates with each other because I think the only way to, to get this to stop is to bring attention to it. Yeah, we've heard that this is happening in other uh, school districts as well, and it's it's very floral and, and vague in the IEP paperwork. Um, can you give us an idea of what they've put in your paperwork? Um, the only thing they've once put in my son's paperwork is that he wanted to be a trash collector, and my son has no clue what a trash collector is. So somehow that's probably some secret secret word they can put in there to try to justify for him to pick up trash, but we've asked for them to remove that out of his IEP, and they did, and then they tried to slip janitor into his IEP. Um, they've tried everything. Anything they want him to do, they just try to slip it into his IEP. And uh, that, that's, that's a typical thing I think this district does. Whatever suits their needs, they'll, they'll just make your, your child do that. My understanding is that they recently cut the budget for the Puyallup School District. Do you know anything, any more detail on that? Well, I know some of it was janitorial services. They cut back on that. Uh, but yet, Tony Apostle, got uh, the superintendent, got a 14% raise last year and, and over an 8% raise this year. So with everybody cutting back, I can't see how a superintendent can reap the benefits and get a bonus. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us, um, maybe so about what some of the other students have said to you? All, all students are very supportive of this. They've tried to bring it to the attention of district staff members. Basically, they're, it's a mind-your-own-business sort of attitude, and, and that's just what they do, and it's part of their education. And so, as a, as a general student body, they feel bad for these kids that they're having to do this, and they feel that they should be in the classroom uh, learning more about academics and, and not throwing in the towel on these kids. Well, thank you.